It is. Hey, it's good to see you. See you looking so agile. Yeah. Um, I assume the recovery regimen is going well. Yeah, I assume so. I'm actually here on my very last visit. Thank you. Oh. Um. Well, I appreciate the salutation, but you know, you really should stretch before all physical exertion. Oh, come on. Nice try. What are you up to? Oh, I was just um looking for an update on Michael for some cold. That's all. Jason's been here day and night. He knows exactly how Michael's doing. Yeah, but he only knows what the medicinal ones are willing to divulge, and that's all been news of a dark nature, so I thought maybe I could find a little hope on Michael's chart. Listen, Spinelli, the doctors are doing everything that they can. We are all worried about Michael, but all we can do now is wait, okay? How's Michael? Is there uh, any change? Uh, Jack said he opened his eyes. Oh, my God, you must be so relieved. I, I mean, I just, I know how much everybody has been wearing since the it was, surgery. It was only a reflex. They don't think Michael's going to come out of the coma. I'm so sorry. I mean, Carly's still holding on, you know. Yeah, I know. I, um, I went to visit Michael's room to see if Carly needed anything, and she was less than... Happy to see me, which I, I, I completely understand, but she did make it pretty clear that she didn't need me or my pity. That was nice of you offer. I know how much Michael means to you, Jason, and if there is anything, and I mean anything at all, that I can do, please, just let me know. Well, actually, there is. Uh, what, what, can you, what can you tell me about this Dr. Devlin? Dr. Devlin, I... He's a great surgeon. I mean, I, I, I just finished my last physical therapy session. My hip is great. Everything went without any sort yeah, that's of good. That's good. Oh, but not what you're looking for. No, I just, I want to know if maybe he told you why he was here, what brought him to Port Charles in the first place. Well, I don't know. I know he went to med school with Patrick Drake. I don't know where, but I do know that they were friends. I mean... See, I'm, I'm working on something and Dr. Devlin might be involved. Well, the only thing you could be working on right now is who shot Michael, and I do not think that Ian had anything to do with it. No, here's... See, the problem is Dr. Devlin's car was spotted in the area around the time Michael got shot. Gosh, I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that he was a really good surgeon, and... And what? Uh, I don't know. So I don't know. I would what? hardly call this a crime, but he made me really uncomfortable. Well, what'd he do? He came on to me really strong. I mean, not just... It was bad. Did you did you encourage him? No, I did not encourage him. I was polite. Nothing more. That is it. He would flirt with me until it was borderline inappropriate and then and then turn around and, and completely blow me off. It was weird. It was really weird. And at first I thought that that was his game. Now, now after this and hearing everything, I wonder if he does have something to hide. Yes, Benelli. Oh, the Stone Cold, uh, the Jackal is in dire need of assistance. Where are you? In the closet. Who, whose closet? Dastardly Dr. Devlin's room six at the motel in, at Meadow and Lake. Uh, Maxie is trying to extract herself from it. Smarmy advances. On my way. Hello, kid! What the hell do you want? Oh, good. You made it. Thank you for coming, Jason. Unfortunately, I think the whole concept's DOA. What are you talking about? Well, we're supposed to be on the two theories of hot guys, you know, sexy, brooding, inarticulate, versus sophisticated, urbane, smooth. No judgment. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but it would have given women a real chance to have some insight on the two different types. Since Dr. Devlin clearly is not willing to participate, I think that we should just leave. Hey! I will find out why you're here. And next time you have questions for me, Morgan, ask him yourself instead of sending this airhead. Where's Spinelli? In the closet. You know, when did you 
come out of the closet? Um, the jackal took advantage of Stone Cold's most swift and menacing arrival and fleed from my hiding place. In... What the hell were you doing there in the first place? Looking Millie? for incriminating evidence, although you haven't told me for what. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it didn't work what out. What were you thinking involving her? Hey, I'm the one that came up with the cover story. I, I have a weakness. Do you know how hard it is to come up with a lie like that with zero prep time? Why don't you call me if Devlin contacts you? Oh, dude, that guy was a complete perv. He pretty much jumped my bones and then threatened me when it was clear I wasn't having sex with him. So considering I'm the one that put my life on the line to cover Spinelli's behind so he could get out of the closet before Devlin even noticed he was there, I think the least I deserve is an explanation. What kind of evidence were you looking for? What, is he dangerous? Uh, Stone Cold hasn't... Uh... I don't think he has an opinion whether or not he is... Well, when you show up five minutes into it and blow my cover, I know something's going on. Thank you for helping Spinella. You can leave now. Oh, well, you could tell me now. Or I could call my dad. The Jackal is most grateful for the Wounded Blonde One's detective work and matchless ability to tell a tale. It is now time to make a discreet exit. Are you calling me a liar? You missed the larger point. Your part in this investigation is ended. It's time to turn your talents to your other pressing matters. Oh, well, what's in it for me if I do? What, what do you want? Well, Carly listens to you, and you could probably convince her to have Lulu quit her job as Kate's second assistant. Carly's with Michael. You think she's going to get involved in your crap? Yeah, bad idea and probably kind of inappropriate. Well, I better get something out of this. Spinelli should pay up. What do I have that you could want? How about the complete layout for Couture's fall edition? And a permanent backdoor into their computer system so I can look at all their future layouts, you know, just stay a step ahead of the game. I'd kind of like that set up by tomorrow. The demanding blonde one sets a near Spinelli! Fine. Right. Done. Leave. Okay. Well, bye, you two. It's been a blast. Spinelli, tomorrow. Do I need to say anything to you? No. Sorry! Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Is this a bad time? No, no problem. I'm sorry, I just uh, wasn't expecting anyone. <laughs> yeah, um, I, uh, I just wanted to thank you. What did I do? Well, I just finished my last physical therapy session. <laughs> no one would ever guess that I was barely able to walk a month ago. Good. Another, uh, satisfied customer. See... That's funny. Most doctors would say patient, but you... You said customer. So you are. I thought there might be some way I could show my gratitude. Well, I've been enjoying a drink. Would you care for one? Yeah, sure. That, that sounds like a good start. Great. <sighs> Whoa. I'm glad you stopped by. Well, I, I actually thought you might be. Come on, you haven't exactly hidden your interests. And every time I, th I think you're going to get personal, you sort of back off. I don't know, don't, don't get offended, but sometimes I think you are sort of kind of just <laughs> a little bit mean about it. And yet here you are. Yeah. Well, maybe you just need somebody to talk to. My world's kind of complicated. I, I can't just trust anyone. It's fine. You know, everybody has to start somewhere. <laughs> Devil in here. I'm coming over. We need to talk. Okay, got it. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to finish this sometime later. I forgot I had some previous commitment to attend to. <laughs> Ten million is what Nicholas paid Devlin for the drugs. Why don't you look for other large deposits? I don't get it. With $10 million, he could reside in someplace nicer than that rattle. 
The doctor lives like someone that has no intention of staying in one place. I talked to Sam. She thinks she's hiding something, too. The goddess has excellent instincts in that regard. But there's still no evidence that Dr. Devlin fired the shot that hit the littlest okay, monster. Now that Devlin knows that I'm watching him, Spinelli, thank you, he's going to be covering his tracks, okay? The key is in his bank account. Just follow the money. Follow the money. Look for large deposits. Trace them back. That's how we're going to find out who shot Michael. 